so I'll just dish out at least a few colors of each so I like the white ones you know there's no di no different flavors here um, but some families would like um, add pandan leaf for green and then um, maybe pumpkin for yellow and beetroot for um, the the red color uh, so that you get flavor uh, remember my big balls actually have peanut butter inside so I'm going to add some syrup okay that's a lot of sugar so there you have it that is our traditional Chinese very basic recipes of uh, Tang Yuan hey everyone welcome back to another cooking video Today, the 21st of December, is actually win winter solstice day and for Chinese community, we make a very special glutinous rice dumpling ball or we actually call in Chinese Tang Yuan. Now, uh, this is a very simple, very basic way to make it. There are more complicated ways to make it. Um, so basically what you need is glutinous rice flour. Remember that you have to get the glutinous version, not the normal rice flour. The normal rice flour will not work, okay? So this will be tepung pulut. Now you'll get like one cup, depending on how much you want to make. So one cup of glutinous rice flour. Now, um, we'll add a bit of water to make it into a firm dough. And we will color the rice balls uh, with whatever coloring you like, right? So today I have a red color, yellow color, and green color. Now we also need a bit of a water to make a sugar syrup to cook the glutinous rice balls in. So I'll leave this aside for now. So first thing is, we'll make the uh, dumpling dough first. So I'm going to add a bit of water. Do not add too much water because uh, this dough comes together very quickly. So my dough is ready, I'm just going to move this aside. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to divide this into four portions because there will be four colors. Right, so there will be um, white and three other colors, okay, just like this. And we'll just put a little bit of coloring. Let me just flatten this so I can like hold the colors, right? Whatever color you like. gonna go wash my hands okay let's start with the um, let's start with green Alright, so my hands are not too green, so I'm just going to go to the next color. I mean, it's alright, you know. The, the colors don't have any flavors. Okay. Last but not least would be the red color. Red would be the one that would stain the most, I think. Okay, so my colors are ready. Just make sure the white remains as white as possible. There. 
Okay. Now we can make uh, balls of any size that we want and if we like we can actually stuff this with some uh, ground peanuts or black sesame seeds um, as we like. Okay. So I'm just going to make a few that has got some stuffing in it and the rest I'll make small balls. Uh, so this would be like a bigger one. All right. And then the rest I'll just make some small balls. Uh, too much of work for one person. <laughs> Okay, so that will be small balls like this. In fact, right now I should be like uh, boiling the sugar for the syrup, but no problem. We have time. Okay, so make round just like this. In fact, you can do two together like this. And these two bigger balls, um, I will make a flat thing so I can stuff some peanuts into it. Okay, like this. Now I'm going to make the yellow one. So I'm just going to scoop out a little bit of um, cold peanut butter and I'm going to place it in the middle of the dumpling like this. As best as I can. Okay. I'll finish the rest and I'll come back. I've uh, basically made this into balls. Uh, the larger ones with the peanut butter didn't come out so well, so I only made three uh, because the peanut butter was just too soft. Got to use uh, ground peanuts next time. Alright, so those are my rolled up balls. Uh, you can make it as small or as large as you want it. Now we're going to make the syrup to cook it in. Uh, it can be as sweet as you want it to be. I'm going to use like uh, two cups of water with um, three tablespoons of sugar. We don't have to finish all the syrup, right? So we are just going to go heat this thing up and then once it boils, we'll put in the dumplings inside until it floats and that's it. Now, um, you may, this is very simple. You may want to put ginger in here and pandan leaves to make it more flavorful, uh, but this is the basic syrup, all right? So I'll go boil this and we'll come back. The syrup is boiling. So I am first going to put in all these uh, small ones. Okay, I'll put in the white ones first so that the color doesn't get like too discolorated. So you want to boil it until it floats, uh, which shouldn't take too long. Okay, now I'm going to try to put in these big ones. Hope it doesn't burst and like my peanut butter goes everywhere. Then I'll like really regret doing this. Okay. And then I'll dip in the rest of the others. Okay, they're all in. We'll try not to disturb it too much, but uh, I'm just going to move it around so it doesn't stick. So it looks good. Let me just try the sugar, sugar syrup. Plenty sweet for me. Remember the syrup, you can actually uh, use brown sugar or palm sugar 
uh, and we can add ginger. That's traditionally how uh, others would make it. All right, so I'm going to give it um, two more minutes, and then uh, it's time to serve. I'm going to come back. Okay, my tang yuan, glutinous rice balls, dumplings is ready. So I'll just dish out at least a few colors of each. So I like the white ones. You know, there's no di no different flavors here. Um, but some families would like um, add pandan leaf for green, and then um, maybe pumpkin for yellow, and beetroot for um, the the red color. Uh, so that you get flavor. Uh, remember, my big balls actually have peanut butter inside. Okay, let me just take a few more. Uh, what am I missing? I'm missing more white color. There we go. There. And I'm missing a bit more yellow. I think I'm missing a lot of other colors too. Okay. So I'm going to add some syrup. Okay, that's a lot of sugar. So there you have it. That is our traditional Chinese, very basic recipes of uh, Tang Yuan or the glutinous rice balls for win winter solstice celebration. Okay, you can try this. It's delicious.